Hello, I'm Aunt Renee. Hello, I'm Marla. And hello, this is Mary Regal. Hi, I'm Mama Deborah Williams. Hello, I'm Derek. And hi, my name is Shanika Moore, and I'm here to explain to you why you all should volunteer for Relay for Life. Have you ever experienced the loss of a loved one to cancer? Yes. Yes. According to the American Cancer Society, this year an estimated 654,800 people are expected to die from cancer, which is an average of 1,500 people a day. How many people die from cancer each year is a statistic that can give you an idea of the impact cancer has had on our humanity. It only takes one person to make a difference. So your involvement in Relay for Life can help build awareness, raise money for a cure, and represent hope for those lost to cancer and still battling cancer. First, I want to talk about raising awareness and the history about Relay for Life. In May of 1985, Dr. Gordon Klatt, who was a colorectal surgeon who had his own American Cancer Society office, decided to raise money for his office in honor of his patients. For 24 hours, Dr. Gordon walked around the track at Baker Stadium at the University of Puget Sound in Tacoma, Washington. Throughout the night, friends paid $25 to run or walk 30 minutes with him. He walked approximately 83 miles around the stadium and raised $27,000 to fight cancer. Nearly 300 of Gordon Clatt's friends, family, and patients watched as he ran and walked the track. After this successful event, Clatt thought about how other people could partake in a similar 24-hour event in their communities across the country. He recruited a small team of people and put on the first Relay for Life in 1986. Now I want to talk about raising money. The Survivor's Lap is the first lap that they do at the events. This is a one lap around the track in honor of those who have won their battle with cancer. One survivor in the Hampton Road chapter says that she volunteers at every event because she believes that having the support from the volunteers at the events is, what, is the reason why she survived. Then they have the Luminaria Ceremony. During this time, participants are asked to gather and remember those who have fallen victim to cancer. Then the last event that they have is called the Fight Back Ceremony, which is performed at the end of the relay, where participants are asked to pledge to take action in awareness, treatment, and prevention. According to the Cheshire Relay for Life, it is an overnight event of good times for a great cause. The Southampton Rose Virginia Beach Relay for Life team says their reason why they relay is because it's more than just raising money for cancer. Their, their relay for life is a celebration of survivorship, remembering, and fighting back. In conclusion, we have all experienced loss due to cancer. I know I have. Why not volunteer? Relay for Life represents the hope that those lost to cancer will never be forgotten, as well as those who face cancer will be supported, and that one day cancer will be eliminated. No matter why you take part in this organization, one thing will be clear that every step that you take, you are helping the American Cancer Society save lives. And that's the end of my speech. And I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Have you ever experienced the loss of a loved one to cancer? Yes. Do you know of any Relay for Life chapters in your community? I'm not really sure, but I believe that they have one at Riverside. But I need to check further into that. Mommy. So I'm guessing you don't volunteer, so what would be the reason why you don't? I have not volunteered in the past, and I think I didn't realize the importance of it. But I recently buried a cousin of mine mm -hmm. that had cancer, and I watched him deteriorate, deteriorate, and it was just a terrible, painful thing to watch. So now that I'm more informed, I believe that one day, very soon, in the very near future, I will... Um, try to find out where I can go to volunteer. Mm -hmm. And Aunt Nay, you said that you volunteered before. Yes, I volunteer at my church. Um, I didn't walk this year, but I try to walk every year. And if I can't walk, I try to give a uh, monetary gift. Mm -hmm. Derek, do you volunteer? No, I haven't volunteered uh, recently because I don't know much about it. But uh, now that I am informed of it, then I'm looking into it volunteer myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank y'all for listening to my speech, and I hope to see y'all volunteering in the near future. Relay for life.